Welcome back everybody, A Pink Lemon here, and today we are unboxing Rhino Horn BX19, the final member of Team Zuganic, along with Viper Tail and Leon Claw. Uh, Rhino Horn is a right spinning defense type owned by Po Chen in the manga, who is a small child. <laughs> quite funny, um, and who absolutely destroys Bird Kazami in the manga. Manga, I should have said manga, not anime, although perhaps the episode of the anime is out now. Uh, it is 380, and it has a new bit spike, which not a lot of people like because it's kind of just a worse needle, but in my opinion, it sort of functions as this generation's version of the defense tip from Metal Fight, but we'll just have to open it uh, to find out, and that's exactly what we're going to do because there's only one way to get started, and that's by opening this thing up. Bam! We got our blade, ratchet, and bit. And obviously, we're gonna get started with the main event, the new blade, Rhino Horn. Which, unlike most of the other releases of Team Zuganic and stuff, this entire bay kind of doesn't really have a gimmick. I guess you could consider Rhino Horn's whole center of gravity gimmick being the thing, because Rhino Horn uh, has its weight condensed towards the center of its blade, meaning that uh, all the weight is, you know, centered and thus makes it better for defense. I guess you could also consider its gimmick being its size, because as a defense type, it is quite a bit smaller than our usual defense type like Night Shield, but also it's just smaller than every other blade we have in the series right now, so you could also consider uh, that its gimmick. But as you can see here, it's a rather nice blade with a nice even shape. And yeah, holding it in my hands, this is way smaller than usual for Beyblade X, uh, which means it is a small blade uh, with a heavy package. Because even just feeling this blade right now, this this has some decent weight to it. Um, it's ratchet is nothing special, unfortunately. It is just 380, which I found quite disappointing because this is a nice looking 380, but we already got 380 and Zuganic introduced 560 and 580. And I think they definitely could have given Rhino Horn a 580 or even a 560. I think, a, but like 580 for a defense type would have worked, but they just gave it 380, which is a bit of a shame. Um, and also last but not least, our new bit, which is Spike, uh, which is usually the name of the needle bit, but here we go. Spike, which is sort of just, let's see if I can do the focus is like needle but smaller this one is actually a significant difference as opposed to like orb and ball though because look at that that size difference is pretty significant and the shape is pretty significant too uh, which means it's going to spin uh, a bit differently as well uh, and a lot of people don't like this because it's not going to be able to wobble as well as needle but it's going to be a bit calmer and it's going to have a bit more stamina which is i like it and which is why i likened it to defense earlier um, and so, now that we have the whole thing, we're going to just slap it together, and BAM! That is Rhino Horn 380 Spike. We didn't actually get to see a lot of Rhino Horn in the manga, hopefully we get to see a little bit more of it, uh, in the anime when that episode comes out, uh, because it doesn't really do anything minus it's like, oh, small center of gravity thing, and then Bird just kind of gets destroyed. Also, Rhino Horn kind of has a strange color scheme where it's got, like, the gray at the top here, the purple here, this matte white, and then green at the bottom. Not really sure what's going on there, um, but it still looks pretty cool. So, now with Rhino Horn unboxed and out of the packaging, we are going to put it to the test with a quick battle. And actually, let's get a test spin on the desk real quick. So, three, two, one, go shoot. Yep, and as you can see there, quite small being a defense type it's not going to move around a lot although it actually does move less than needle um but we'll just have to see for sure when we get it in the stadium uh in our quick battle test so let's do that and bam here we are in the stadium ready to do our test spin of rhino horn and we're going to do our test spin against our newly unboxed dran dagger which you guys will be able to see in the next video so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that we're gonna move on to a quick test spin. We're just gonna do a quick first to four against Rhino Horn. Here we go. And Dragon Dagger in and you can, ooh, wow. Rhino Horn already has a surprising amount of recoil. I guess it, you can really tell from the uh, the gaps in its blade. Those are some pretty big gaps. So it's one point to Rhino Horn. And it like immediately wore down Dragon Dagger. And you can see in the stadium, whoa, and there goes Drandagger popping Rhino Horn out the top, Jesus. 
you can already tell from looking in the stadium, Rhino Horn is quite a bit smaller than the usual blade. With uh, these Grand Dagger in there, you can, like, the size comparison is crazy. But man, Rhino Horn's recoil is insane. And it wins another one. So right now, what it looks like what Rhino Horn's good at is wearing down, like, full on attack types with its extremely high recoil. Here it goes again. It tanks X dashes pretty well, I've noticed. Although I will say the spike bit, definitely not as good at needle uh, as needle and is just immediately tipping over. But I think it is gonna, no, it's not gonna take another win. And Grand Dagger wins. So that was our test spin of Rhino Horn. It's pretty good as like an anti-attacker, but I assume if I put it against a balance type, like a Hell Scythe or like even Hell's Chain, uh, which we unbox in the next video as well, um, it probably wouldn't do as well spin wise. Um, and I don't know how I feel about having such high recoil. It being smaller is good, and it tanks X dashes pretty well, but yeah, Spike, definitely not the best bit. Maybe it'll do better on 60 height, who knows. So, let me know what you think of Rhino Horn in the comments below. Remember to like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more content coming soon, and to see Dran Dagger and Hell's Chain get unboxed, and I've got a special video involving the two of them uh, coming up soon as well. So, until next time, I've been a Pink Lemon, and I hope you have a great day.